Hi all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. Let me open a new part and show you how to do that. We create a new part and in the front plane I will create a sketch. Here I pick a line and then I start from origin and I draw something like this. Yes. Here I will give dimension, that is 60, this line 90, here we got a 10, and last thing is, this is from here, 4. And then I close my sketch, we go to sheet metal, base flange tab, so it is inwards direction, take care of that. We create your mid plan option. 60 is the width. The material thickness is 2. Radius is 2, will be a good approximation for bending radius. We say OK. And then we got this. What we're going to do now? Unfold. Fixed face. Collect all bands. And then we will open our part. Once we are done with this, we create your sketch. We look normal to sketch. First things, I need to define here some lines. I will make them later construction geometry. One more guy. Yes. And then select everything construction geometry. This moves and be constrained. Now we're gonna get the slot. Slot types, center point, straight, and we select this, and four times, same operation. Come in the middle, select the point, and draw this four times. If you select four slots, while control is pressed, you can make them equal slots. So here, for the seven and a half, here I have 4 mm. It is good. And the last operation will be here to add one uh, hole. I drop a circle. This is 30. And this is another 30. What I see now, my cutout is a little bit smaller than my bending zone. So let's change it. 5.5 okay it looks better most probably on my earlier model that I showed you in the beginning of the video the bending radius was not correct so this looks okay now we're gonna say extrude cut link to thickness and close so let's see now fold and what happens yes we get this this was what we want so I move this thing and fold becomes now a passive and I select here and I create a sketch I look from normal to that plane and in the middle of this line I place a line and then make a construction geometry then a center rectangle okay and then here a 3 mm offset and then another tree from here. We don't do anything with this one and we keep it uh, how it is. So after this operation we come here, fill pattern, this will be filled area and then we're gonna create a seed cut and a hexagon and tree and uh, we select the surface this will be here so we're gonna define some values this is 6 this is 30 and 0 0.25 let's choose the op options select his face may be removed exactly and then at the end we're gonna get something like this let's look from normal to 
you see it is equally spaced with the helpful program try try to use same parameters if you change it that's fine but make sure that you protect the proportion otherwise the distances from will not maybe be equal as I get it critical parameter 6 hexagon and the outer diameter is 3 in between 6 30 degree and 025 let me close this nice cutout will be created for me if I move this bar and fold will be active then I will get this nice shape we can hide this guy and what we miss radiuses two minimal radius will be here here and here yes maybe a bit bigger can be nice as well so this was it i hope it was simple for you if you like my video hit the like button see you in another video